Many watch aficionados around the world love Panerai. They love them because of their rich history. They also have this distinctive design, and of course, they're kind of tech forward in many, many ways. However, this watch pirate here is the farthest from a watch aficionado as can be. And not to mention that I have lady wrists that could not sustain a Panerai for more than five minutes. However, once I tried out a number of these Panerai submersibles in the office, I'm kind of thinking that Panerai is changing my mind. This video is brought to you by Shiva's fine jewelry and rare timepieces. The 44 straight up means 44 as in 44 millimeters. For Panerai, this is a no-nonsense sizing option that's placed right between the 42 and 47 millimeter cases that they typically offer. It represents the brand's ideal versatile sizing within its iconic dive range. It still bears the typical Panerai flair like its renowned trapezoid buckle emblazoned with its name. The strap also features the OP logo that proudly represents its underwater and aerial heritage. The dial is very utilitarian with a playful hint of sky blue accents making this a more modern interpretation of a legendary tool watch. The matte dial also makes for a pleasant combo under the circular brush finish of the bezel. Speaking of the bezel, it is properly Swiss in feel and clicks. You're further reminded of how refined Panerai's are despite their brutish appearance. But here's the main attraction. As much as a Panerai is synonymous with Herculean wrists, the Quaranta Quattro can ride my puny wrist anytime. Yes, they still look massive on my wrist, but nothing bigger than any g -Shock I've been accustomed to. This new line comes in many other variants such as this Bianco model that has a completely different personality. This is a more visually brighter variant, not just in tone but also in color. With a solid block of lightness on the case, the green straps pops a bit more, highlighting its many angular carvings. From my mittens and onto my wrist, this still fits like a 44mm Panerai but visually it wears different. With the white dial, the feeling is a lot more casual and laid back. Arguably, this model can have the most versatile and strap changing options as most colors will go well with the light dial. Then there's the signature Carpotec model. And boy, if there was ever a Swiss watch with a marbling tastier than a slab of steak, it will be this one. From your eyes, it looks like it's 44mm siblings but it feels infinitely lighter because of that unique composite material. It's not only lighter, but it's also more durable because of the sheets of carbon fiber. The buckle for these Panerai always matches the case, and this is no different. After all, why spoil a technological material that also happens to be extremely collectible? Look closely, and the gorgeous strips of carbon fiber line every facet of the case. As these layers of material are stacked together, they are compressed using a special process, with the result being a unique piece. Like a distinct fingerprint, each of the Carbotec models is its own soul. For a tool watch, it's easy to create something cold and sterile, but both words are not appropriate here. To further impress life into this model, a cool blue dial is designed to it. Whether you prefer a soulful piece or a rugged beater, the 44 covers the basis of options. Panerai has a reputation built around performance required by the most demanding special forces in the world. The 44 continues to serve fans as the ultimate tool watch for collectors of a very specialized taste. These collectors are not simply found on the past generations who love the Italian brand. The current social media savvy generation also found Panerai as a media darling in many ways. This new collection boasts a more environmentally aware virtue that clearly considers the future generations. As they discover the heritage behind the name and the design, they also discover their Panerai. I used to think that a Panerai on my wrist is as far away as the rock's physique is to mine. However, the more that I wear these Panerais and their various collections, the more convinced I am that I could actually pull them off. If I could wear a G-Shock on my six and a quarter inch wrist, then it's quite possible for me to wear even the bigger submersibles because they're not really that big when you wear them and they're quite enjoyable as well. So why miss out on a great iconic design when you can have it with the Panerai Submersible and their other collections?